All right, very warm welcome to round three of Group B of the January series tournament. Uh, in this game, we have Polina, Game Slayer, Tudback, and Death Tacticus. All of these players have at least one win from the first two games, and Tudback has two wins from the first two games. Alongside me, as usual for this tournament, Philothanic. Now, this is a ugly map. You <laughs> couldn't have a tournament without at least one Zoltar map. This is our Zoltar yep, map. Tudback has now, called it. This Zoltar map is maybe not as bad at first glance because there are plenty of resources everywhere. So DT goes for the obvious scavenger in the northeast corner. And this a is lot be... of debt, 26k. This is going to be a very strong scavenger. Two highs right next to each other. Two other highs in the crater if he needs to transition himself. Now what he won't be very happy is 2D back blocking his access to water. Yeah, he's got that bounce. ice. He's he got, got that ice, ice but even so, yeah, it's not quite as good as having that water there. There was a high in there too that Tudback's just taken away. Game and I think Tudback's. Oh, sorry, go on. Say, Game Slayer, really quick, going for a expansive found, which, given the amount of shipping that you'll be doing on this map, is probably a good choice. Taking it for 4k in debt. The and last but not right. least, especially Polina going for our standard robot play. Yeah, I like Polina's found quite a lot. It's uh, it's strong, it's got everything she needs there. It's even got the uranium, it's got some ice as well for the water. Uh, seems pretty good. Uh, and I like the, I actually like the expansive as well. Uh, right in the middle of the map. A little bit lacking access to iron, and yeah, he's struggling to upgrade because of that. Um, he's going to get there right now, in fact. Uh, DT's a very strong start, but again, in the late game, we'll see if the scavenger can keep up with the other HQ types. It yes. hasn't managed to so far. Well, Rahi had a chance in our games, and then mm -hmm. um, Game Slayer died to death. So we'll see if, if we'll see if um, Death Tacticus won't make the same debt mistakes that Game Slayer did last game. Polina is the next to level two, and Game Slayer is lagging behind a little bit of you expect the expansive to be the last that hq2 yep. yep i think that's totally okay uh, game slayer grabbing oh and core sampling another iron uh in the southeast i'd missed that and he gets a high for his trouble as well so fortune favoring uh, game slayer with the core samples this and that's going to be very Zoltar profitable map, iron as well. But like I said earlier, not as bad of a Zoltar map as you would first think. So DT gets to HQ3, and he is the only one in that glass market. And glass has been profitable for quite a while. Uh, these kilns, he's, he's put a third one down as well, uh, making 80 apiece right now. He's also going into power, which is getting up there above 110. So uh, he's got a, an avenue out of that debt. He is in that B level of debt rating at the moment, though, mm -hmm. uh, which is going to be a little bit of a problem for him. B is still OK. B says I need to start paying attention to my debt. C is where you definitely need to pay attention to your debt. And then D, of course, is bad. Yeah, and potentially he's far enough ahead that he, uh, he can afford to uh, keep those nuclear plants up for a while and just try and pay as much of that down as he can. He's also going into a patent lab, which I like a lot. Uh, he's going to get a lot of value from liquid batteries if he wants it. Uh, and he's also he's in one corner of the map, so anything he can do to cut down on his shipping costs I think will be really good, particularly as life support. It's just a little bit awkward this game. Right. 2D back is falling behind a little bit with this robot start. He does have the upgrade to level 3 hq3 once again with the expansive game slayer lagging behind a little bit which is what we would have expected uh, One... something quite subtle as well uh two back there's a there's a cave and he's claimed it there's a cave next to the high water so the same as uh, same as rahi from last time uh, he's going to get the uh, the benefit of adjacent so, highs at least for a little bit surprised just disappointed in you the patent lab being hammered by, um, let's see who that was. Uh, that was a uh, 2D back trying to uh, knock down that patent lab that Death Tacticus has. Um, 
Let's check in on what's happening on the south side of the map. We've been looking at the north side. Game Slayer is still at HQ2, is struggling a little bit to get to HQ3. Needs another 20, 13k for the upgrade. Yeah, he's in, he he's in um, reactors, right now, which isn't if bad. He, wants it. he does. So he's not too far behind. Um, he is falling a little bit into debt. He's uh, getting down into the 40s now uh, of debt. Uh, he is needs in to that find a way to put power low down. A range, which is okay. He just needs to take that upgrade, find a way to maybe get in some power. And... Yeah, he doesn't seem to be doing that though at the moment. He's uh, putting down some more reactors and some more steel. This uh, it gonna... wouldn't be Game Slayer if he didn't try to get <laughs> as much debt as possible. It worked for him in the first game, true. it failed in the second one. We will see what happens in round number three. All DT play... going, as you can say, DT going for teleportation. Uh, which uh, isn't all that surprising. The uh, the shipping costs are going to be problematic for him quite soon, I think. Right now, DT's problem is the uranium costs for his um, yeah. creeping up, and he doesn't have a lot of positive income. Yeah, he next, doesn't at all. Next In fact, he's putting no money. All of his putting, power is going to pay off his debt. Yeah, a whole bunch of money. Uh, into putting those nuclear plants down. No real way of making the money back. He's got the aluminum mine, and that's his most profitable thing right now. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see what he does. He's also putting an iron mine down, which is an intriguing decision. Uh, iron. Next to the plant lab. Yeah. Iron I don't know. Only worth $12. I mean, it's an additional nine a second when you don't have anything coming in, but I would have I don't know, yeah, toilet condensers there's... get you 64 a second when they're on, so that's I think there's, 32 there's better options for that. a second if you average it out over the entire day. Polina going for the hacker array, uh, the auction, gets that for 12,000, so that's uh, something that potentially she can use now. I'm not exactly sure what she's planning to do with that. Hmm. So, Toot Back is the first to HQ for leaving both of the scan, leaving the, um, sorry, the Tacticus behind, which is something you don't want to see. You never want to be a scavenger and see an expansive beat you to HQ4, as Game Slayer just did. Yeah, DT falling a little bit behind, and yeah, this power play hasn't really worked out for him. He's, he's had to commit a lot into paying off that debt, and uh, he's, still, he's still in 40,000 of debt, so he's not by any means gotten even close to getting rid of it all but just the fact that he started with so much debt sort of put him behind the eight ball a little bit it meant that he had to invest those claims into nuclear plants quite early and more than just the two in fact he's uh, he's got he, he did have three down uh, so back is deciding that he wants to do the exact same thing as last game buy in oh. the game slayer early although i believe Does... the game slayer that did it first game slayer Maybe he did not notice he had enough, potentially enough cash to defend himself a little bit. Well, he has enough for two pips. He, yeah, just about. Too back doesn't have the money to finish this. He needs somebody else no, to help out. he needs somebody else to help out, and nobody, there's no reason to help out. Yeah, no, there really player, I'd want to buy in the two back. So Game Slayer is getting the little warning, saying he's vulnerable to a majority buyout. He is at the moment what, is vulnerable. 10k he short. Tudback needs 10k. Yeah. 15k. Sorry, Game Slayer. Yeah, Tudback needs 15. Game Slayer needs 10. 10. Oh. So he buy, might be able to defend him. Yourself, he should Game be able Slayer. to defend himself. He has. Yeah, it. I think he's. I think he's okay. Okay. So. Tudback going with some bold aggressive moves in this case. Um, <laughs> yes, Game Slayer immediately selling back out, which is Both what you should out. do. Yeah. In this case, I'm wondering if Tudback going this aggressive was a mistake. What this did do is it slowed his upgrade to level 5. It would be very hard to get that buy on Game Slayer going in. And it maybe slowed him down a little bit i'm not sure what to think about it this is one of those cases where it's like i don't know he could go yeah for it, i mean it certainly it certainly it. slowed game slayer down as well and i think game slayer is probably his he, he certainly sees game slayer as his main competition in this game 
at this point. To the surprise of nobody, by the way, Game Slayer is in, well, he's, he's in C debt right now, but uh, yeah, he's on the verge. In fact, right, he's just fallen, as I was talking, into D levels of debt, so he's going to have to deal with that at some point in the very near future. I wonder if he's going to, presumably he's not going to upgrade yet, because I think if he does, he's absolutely dead. So we'll see how he handles that. Mm. He does upgrade, so uh, thinks he can get away with it. Does have probably enough cash on hand to at least, and yeah, two backers invested all of that money, partly into himself. So uh, that was a safe thing to do. Now, um, for Game Slayer right now, unlike maybe the last game, I don't recall exactly. Power still high, so if he goes into some power plants here and can keep them defended for a while, he'll start paying off his debt. It'll be slow. Mm. It'll be painful, but at just under 200, 180, he can still recover and keep himself yeah, at, the, least, at least in that C range with those power plants, I'd have, I would think. Doesn't seem to be doing that, though. He's going into an optimization center. He does have some claims to spare, so I wonder if we're going to see some nuclear plants coming down. He's got the uranium coming in. He's got the water as well uh, very close by. Uh, DT, I'm a little bit concerned for DT because he's fallen uh, a little bit. He's... he's gotten rid of that pattern lab after only picking up teleportation mm. and teleportation isn't very high value at all now pattern, look at look at fuel it's at 40 dollars <laughs> so he's fuel's not at, really saving a whole bunch of money there from that fuel's at 40 dollars it's because game slayer only uses half of it the, mm. no not around half was it yeah maybe one half the fuel cost helena and 2d back don't use fuel at all so game slayer is the only one providing positive pressure on fuel of the players in the game right now yeah I think if you're I think if you're expansive that you your ships go 50% faster which I think means that you use two-thirds as much fuel because of the way the math the math works um, yeah, it's, it's but yeah in, like in any case idea. it's not it's not full yeah um, we haven't talked about Paulina much this game she's yeah we have sort of been down in the corner minding her own business she's a little bit behind but not terribly far behind. Yeah, she's got the she's got the pleasure dome down, and that's it's an okay pleasure dome, but power is power is a concern. Uh, that's the issue with that. She's got the optimization center down, and she's got the chem production to support it, but again, just sort of not really not really making enough money at this point in the game. Uh, certainly not as much as either Tooth Back or Game Slayer. Uh, right. She is she only she's sort of it's, this, this is the classic sort of sitting in the corner and optimizing though. So maybe maybe it'll work out. Uh, she'll be able to stay out of the big battles of this game. She is can have the upgrade very shortly now if she wants it. Getting up to level five will be good. She should probably go into some more power. Maybe try and pay that debt off a little bit. Um, yeah, and I think um, there's still I think potential generally... for power money on this map between Two D Back and Polina. It's just which one of the two wants to take it. And chems are actually very profitable. We we haven't really mentioned much about the uh, the individual prices of this game, but no one else is in chems. Yes, and, and Polina, in fact, Game Slayer is, excuse me. Um, Polina, but they are profitable. I'd like to point out with that, Kems is making use of one of the more interesting adjacencies. Everybody on the series, Kems ah. will provide a boost to nuclear plants. So she has one plant that has a double boost one from this chemical refinery and one from the other plant next to it. Mm. Yeah, so that's just uh, a nice play right there by Polina, I wanted to point out. Yeah, that's uh, that's an important point to point out. That's uh, that's really good. Another core sample being used. Um, was that Polina again? Who was that? Yes, Polina core Polina. sampling some carbon. With the carbon. Unfortunately, so, uh, just got another medium. A scavenger HQ has instead been of getting a high. No, I mean that's still that's still okay. That's uh, well, it's the medium next you to the two other, expect out of a two other Yeah, mediums. that's that's fair. So she's um, disappointed, but kind of what you'd expect. That Tacticus, level 5, finally, last one to go level 5. What you do not want to see is a scavenger. Has that pan lab back yeah. up again. <laughs> yeah, the pan lab is back. Um, yeah, I don't I don't quite With know. The transparent aluminum, perhaps that is what gets the upgrade. Yeah, maybe. I, I don't know. Like, it's, it's, hard to, it's hard to justify this, honestly. Like, look at the carbon claims that he's having to put down. Just in the late game, he's got the uh, 
So the thing though is he has Hang teleportation, on, he so these other two carbon claims, he can rotate these out and use them for something else. Oh, that's Production what he's been buildings. doing. Okay, yeah, okay, that's so what he, he's been doing. He has doing. these carbon claims while carbon is ridiculously expensive at 178 and falling. But when it's yeah. when he sells out of everything, he can transfer them over into something that makes money. So I'm perfectly okay with that move. In fact, it's a really good one. I think. Yeah, yeah, that's um, that's something I hadn't noticed. That 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 is something the teleportation allows him to do. So uh, game which Slayer... is quite important. Oh, that circuit overload is really going to hurt DT. He was making money from that power. Uh, he gets shut down though by Polina. Yes, Polina is finally making power money. Polina is making 1k a second in power money, so if she wanted to cut, shut down her largest competition in that, and she'll only be making more as her fourth nuclear plant comes online. Yeah, power sticking at 250, it's um, something we haven't mentioned a whole lot this game, but uh, it is pretty important. Game Slayer still Finally refusing going to go into, into power. Finally going three nuclear plants and one oh. solar panel. So a He's just black magic solar panel right here. Yeah, it's just much too late. I'm sorry. It's look at his stock price. It's fourteen dollars. Fourteen dollars. He has oh. three, almost three hundred k in debt. It would've been, like I was saying earlier, it would've been good to go into when he had hundred and fifty k in debt. But right now he's he's gonna struggle yeah. to pay that off, especially with power on its way down. He's been hacking. He's been hacking power down as well. So well, even though he's going he's put reverse the... and hack it back up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even though he's uh, he's put the He's put the nuclear plants down, that's not really going to help him very much. He's going to short food now as well, but again, it's going to be really hard for him to make any money. That tactic uh, is, that. The black is us transitioning out of those power plants back into some food. Buys up all of his own stock. Yeah, I wonder if... Preparing I mean... himself for the long game, which is always an interesting preparation for a scavenger player to make, even on Mars. I'm really surprised that he didn't uh, transition the nuclear plants that were shut down by circuit overloads into food instead. Uh, I feel like that might have been that might have been slightly better. Um, in any case, uh, Polina going into Tudback, uh, which is an interesting move. Tudback does have those two slot stock in Game Slayer, and probably could compete complete that buy quite quickly. Uh, so I wonder if we're going to see that. Quite soon, Dame, Game Slayer, I think, is going to try and pay his debt off. Uh, that's going to be a difficult thing to do, though, and I think Tudback, with those two stock in him, is in a good position to push to maybe the five at this point because it's so cheap for him to buy those thirty-two thousand for one of those pips. The only thing Not that Game Slayer money. has in his favor right now is he has the most money out of anybody, mm -hmm. so he could pay off. 100k or 200k chunk of this debt right now and he wouldn't he wouldn't be he'd be less than 100k behind 2d back and yeah. tacticus and 100 yeah that is true. K behind polina that's the only thing he is going for him and perhaps more earnings potential due to the size of his expansive base doesn't have the adjacency yeah, bonus not... And he's got a couple of optimizations. Now he's had the optimization center running for a little while, just by the colony, which I think is going to help him a little bit. He's got the electronics. Electronics got silly again this game, yes, it uh, was, as they did last game. It was another electronics uh, colony. Yeah. Uh, Moscow is a more of a normal size. Yeah, yeah. And it's, or slightly uh, it's larger than normal size. Certainly sizable, consuming two a second. Uh, Polina now going into those electronics as well, but Game Slayer's got them optimized, and that's a big deal. 75% optimizations mean, the, mean these electronic factories are making 500 a second each, which is a huge amount of money. Uh, yeah. He has paid a bunch of that debt off. He's down to 70k now, which means the stock price has recovered. The stock price is recovering. Game Slayer, like I was saying, is actually not too far behind now. He has 147k yeah. debt after paying off that huge amount of money. And honestly, it, for where he was, is in a really great place. So he's hacking up water and power, which is, again, kind of an interesting move. He's got a big stockpile of water, and he sees that as a problematic resource for everybody else. Uh, fight over the pleasure dome between Polina and Tudback. If somebody else is going to chime in with that one, they're not for the time being at least. 
On the subject of optimizations, the Tacticus is the only player not to have any optimizations, and like the first game we saw him without any, I think this is a mistake. Yeah, yeah I think so impossible. too. He's making... Well, not, not entirely impossible to go into off-worlds. Dude is a 53, 56k profit launch. Yeah. Cost that Tacticus 166k to build an off-world, which is high. But not absurdly high. I'd rather see some optimizations going down. Yeah, those um, the... those food launches are going to be tempting for somebody. I feel uh, at some point in this game. Uh, I wonder if we're going to see. Yeah, and Game Slayer is going into an off world. This is uh, this is really interesting. So now so, uh... we have a the two leaders of the game, Tudi Back and Polina, are having a stock fight with each other right now. They. Yeah. Polina's well, slightly ahead uh, at the moment. She is, yeah, about 100k ahead and needs another 400k to complete the buy. Two back needs more along the lines of half a million, so it's going to be close between those two. Also has a slight advantage in optimizations in her favor. Yeah, including Especially those really crucial electronics optimizations. Yes, but she only has two tiles numbers. in electronics. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, she needs more. So she, uh, I think. which the only quibbles I might have with her base right now, looking at it, is she has so many claims um, are bringing in resources: two for carbon, two for silicon, two for iron, two for water. But she doesn't have. Oh, I'm sorry, four for iron. I missed two of them. Wait, no, these yellows are game slayer. So that was first right. So she doesn't really have many buildings sitting here that are actually making her money. Yeah, that's very true. And something else as well. Look at this aluminum price. It's just got really silly and partly because of the electronics. The electronics and have, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if away. one of our hacker arrays has been hacking it and we missed it. Um, I don't well, think maybe so. Not. I'm not sure. I'm going to check, actually. Uh, production and sales. Let's see. Oh yeah, you know, no, you're quite right. DT has been hacking it up. Uh, only That's twice. Because DT has two tiles into aluminum. Yeah. Two back currently has zero. Game Slayer has zero. Game Slayer has one right oh, next so to his base. Next to his base. Yeah, those are hard to see sometimes. And then uh, yeah, Polina has. The engineers the I don't think she has any. The, her aluminum is underneath her the solar underneath The solar conductors, nuclear. yeah, and uh, yeah. nuclear plants. So this stock fight, Tudbat looks like he's going to win it, which is uh, surprising to me. He had more of the earnings potential. He's almost at a hundred percent. So uh, very, very nearly there. Uh, I think needs it to realize it. Yeah, Sorry, go In this case, I think this is just due to Tudback having more of his claims are producing resources versus Polina had more of her claims bringing in resources. And when, yes, re inputs are really high, but outputs are ridiculously high. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that might well have been the case. I think so. Game Slayer has gone into DT, and DT has gone into Game Slayer. So those two are battling between each other. Game Slayer is basically it. there. Has it right now? Just about. If you want, he's in a it. whole bunch of debt. They both at 100 percent on each other. They both he's need to realize it. Game Slayer does get the buy, but only barely. Game and Slayer now this is going to be interesting. Did go for a off world, so is taking a little bit advantage of those food launches which are only at 40k in part because Game Slayer is not producing the food that he's selling off world yep. so the price has crept up. And Tudback is producing food so that money indirectly is going straight to Tudback. Uh, the shutdown from Tudback comes down on to Game Slayer's electronics. Ele uh, Game Slayer can't respond because he's in nearly $400,000 worth of debt and his stock price as a consequence is tanking. And I think that might be the difference in this game. Tudback, not quite making as much money as Game Slayer, but he does have that big stock price advantage, and that's mainly from the fact that Game Slayer is in so much debt. Yes. So Game Slayer just has to hope that he can outproduce Tudback, which is going to be hard when 
Tudbeck has the advantage in the stock owned and the ability to freeze Game Slayer at will. Although the yeah, yeah. freezes are 110k, so... Yeah, it's not going to be the freeze so much. I wonder if he's going to start picking that off world. Um, With nobody has thinking perhaps. machines, right? Yeah, nobody has thinking machines. Nobody has thinking machines. That would have been great for Game Slayer to pick up, considering how much of his base is touching his, H yeah. his headquarters. But it's mainly just the stock price advantage, and yeah, Tudback does get it. And it was so much money that Game Slayer had to make up on Tudback, even with the potential earnings advantage of the expansive. He wasn't able to take it down. So Tudback with another win in this tournament. He's up to three, three now. Wins out in a of commanding three. position. Who, who takes cares? that one over Game Slayer and who cares DT. about tiebreakers if you uh, yeah, if you have all the games, wins, right? Okay, so, so let's, we have to do. Let's talk a little bit about these bases. I think you said it at the beginning when Death Tactic is founded in the scavenger spot. There's a decent scavenger spot, but he just went into it for too much debt. I think, yeah, that I think that's the right. Issue. But I think, I think honestly, I mean, we've seen three times some very valiant attempts with Scavenger, but they've all had something happen to them that's well, basically not them out. So, so far, um, we've seen it, we've seen the Scavengers not win, but I'd say they're more due to player error rather than hmm. the. I don't know. I think Rahi played scavenger. her Scavenger game very well. I think DT maybe maybe a little bit too much debt, but even so, like certainly on Mars, too much, a little bit too much wouldn't... debt, and then some questionable moves in HQ three where he wasn't making any money and fell behind on the upgrades. Yeah, yeah, potentially. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think um, like we've oh, sorry, we'll continue. I was I was going to say so, uh, taking this spot for twenty four k on Mars would be an absolute no brainer, and I would expect DT to win that game. If he did that on Mars, but again, just on just on series, just the fact that those resources diminish just makes it so difficult in the late game to make any sort of money. And in every one of these games, we've seen carbon up at 100, 150, 200, 250 dollars, mm -hmm. and just that fact alone just makes it so difficult because you need that carbon in the late game, and you need lots of that carbon in the late game. Yes. And the fact that you can't get it is just such a difficult thing. Game Slayer did go into teleportation which allowed him to rotate out of old bad carbon tiles into production which was a very good good use of that teleportation um in the next patch uh, scavengers at some point some point in time i'm not sure exactly they will not diminish resources there's still some debate as to what resources or how much they shouldn't diminish by but they will be stronger yeah, and I think that's that's what they need, honestly. I think I think even if it's only carbon, I think that makes such a huge difference. Anyway, um, let's I mean, talk it's, about it's, some of the other players. Polina, we did discuss Polina a little bit during the game. I was I was kind of critiquing her for um, going into too many inputs and not enough production. And at the end of the game, I think that critique relative holds water. Let's take a look at some of these uh, the balance sheet here see if that actually does hold she sold 741k oh well she sold a lot in resources let's take a look pity back yeah everybody else sold uh, more resources than she did so i do think that critique still still holds water mm -hmm. Well, that was um, again two back. Just taking these robots and just winning with them. It's uh, it's really impressive. Yes. So the, see if he can... the robot is, I think, by far. Oh, not, let's, let's rephrase that. The robot is very strong on series and probably the strongest HQ for sure. We did see in game one an expansive beat a good robot. So it's. I would argue it's not as good as some people say, but it's still definitely the best. Yeah, I think I think the I think the three the three non scavenger HQs are I think reasonably well balanced. I mean, science is the one I think with the most variance. Uh, a good science spot is better than a good robot or yes. good expansive spot. Uh, but if you don't have a good spot, then I think it's it's not quite as good as those those other two HQs. Um, and yeah, it depends on the map. So ro robots. 
again, I mean, a lot like it is on Mars robot. Robots, when water isn't very good, then you take a robot, and when water is good, you take an expansive, and you just make a bunch of money with the five extra claims that you have. Right, and so often on series, water is not very good, which kind of helps the robot. Yeah. I'd like to see yep. the robot have consumed some water for life support, call it cooling. <laughs> I think I, because there's no atmosphere maybe. to cool, and then I think that would put them in line with some of the others. Yeah, maybe that could that could work. And then yes, we did um, say about Game Slayer debt, 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 debt. Game Slayer go into less debt. Twice in that Please. game, yeah, twice in that game. Please, I'm uh, back. He got you. into serious debt. First time he got himself out, second time not so much. 